All right. Hello and welcome, everyone. We are live here on Thursday. We're doing Adobe Students today, Adobe Student Channel. Uh, but we're going to be talking about syncing photos across your various devices. So with that said, I just want to thank everyone for joining me here live. And as soon as I can get my... This page always takes forever. As soon as I can get this page to load, we can go and check out the comments over here on Facebook, which is where we're streaming in addition to, uh, in addition to YouTube and Twitter. So welcome, William. Welcome, Baldair. Longest page in the world taking to come up. But uh, hopefully you guys are uh, enjoying your uh, summer so far and taking lots of pictures for your summer vacations, whether you had them already or they're going to be coming up. Uh, I'm going to show you how to get them on your devices. And more importantly, that if you make changes or edits on them, they will be across the board. Okay, finally, there's the page I want. And no, I take that back. All right, so Steve's in the house, William's in the house, Baldir, welcome again. Thanks for being here. And here we go. Finally, 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 I can click that button and see the folks over on Facebook. Facebook page is taking forever to load. I blame Mark Zuckerberg. All right. Finally. Okay, here it is. I see Victoria. I see Malcolm. I see Idolf. Uh, welcome, everybody. Thanks for being here watching once again. And let's go ahead and get things going. I think I got everything open. Twitter, YouTube, Donna, hello, Marius, Colleen, or Colin, uh, Steve. And uh, I think that's it for comments for now. If I missed your name, I apologize. But let's go ahead and dive right into our topic. So, um, as many of you know, there's two desktop versions of Lightroom. There's Lightroom Classic, which is the Lightroom that's been around for years and years and years. And then there's, um, which is now just referred to as simply Lightroom. It used to be Lightroom CC. That is the cloud-based version of Lightroom. Um, and thanks, Mohammed. I appreciate that. Um, let's start with Classic, because if you're using the cloud-based version, you're already there. Your images are already in the cloud. And I will talk about that in a minute. But let's talk about Classic since it's not so automatic and it is something you have to set, turn on and set up. All right. So with that said, um, Donovan, my audio is really loud. So I'm going to ask you to turn your audio up. It's, it's like I'm looking at the meters. I'm spiking. So uh, not sure why it sounds uh, not so good to you. All right. <laughs> with that said... Uh, if anybody else having a problem hearing me, let me know. But uh, it looks like my audio is really good right now. So with that said, let's talk about Lightroom and how to set it up here. So first of all, in Lightroom Classic, you have folders, which contain your actual pictures. You have collections, which allow you to organize those pictures any way you want, no matter what folders they're in. And they, <laughs> I didn't do anything, Donovan. Uh, <laughs> they don't... Um, they don't move from the folders when you put them in collections. So it's just like having a, uh, a music collection and you have different playlists. You can have the same song in multiple playlists. You can put songs in other places. Um, and, and, and the songs will stay in your library, but you're not duplicating the space in your, uh, in your music. So same thing with Lightroom and your photos. The actual originals are in the folders, but your collections can contain the same photos over and over again. You can arrange photos from different uh, folders into those collections. And most importantly, collections are what you actually sync uh, so that you can see them on your mobile devices. So I've got Lightroom here open. Um, before you can even start syncing, the first thing you're going to do is go up to the upper left corner. And in that upper left corner, you're going to go ahead and click and there will be a button that has a little play icon, a little triangle on it, if you have not already started syncing. If you have already turned it on, right now it says my sync is on, it will have a little pause button. So it's letting me know that sync is already on, it's letting me know how much space I have available in the cloud, and we're gonna talk about space in a minute as well, and it's just letting me know, hey, you're already on, so step one, Turn it on. If it's not already on, go ahead and click that first button there 
there'll be a play icon. It'll turn to the pause icon, which lets you know it's on. Now, that doesn't do anything. That just simply sets Lightroom up so that you can sync your photos. It doesn't sync any photos. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't put anything in the cloud until you tell it to. So how do you tell it? And that's what we were talking about earlier when I was mentioning collections. So collections, under the collections category here in Lightroom, uh, this is where you will create collections that you want to put your photos in. So for example, um, I've got a collection right now called Splashes of Color. This was a, a shoot I did. I was trying to be creative. Uh, this was actually hanging upside down with water in it, and I was pouring uh, food coloring in it and freezing the frame as the various colors were coming into the glass skull. Um, and then, of course, once it was shot, rotated it in post-production and did the post-production on it. Now, this particular collection of 13 photos, uh, you'll notice to the left of those of all these collections now, there's a little box. And some of the boxes have the little uh, sync arrows in them, and some of the boxes don't. This is where you go in and decide which collections will sync with the cloud and which ones don't. So by default, none of them will have sync icons in them because you haven't told it to sync anything yet. So if I wanted to sync this collection, I could just click the box and it will put the sync icon in there. And then those 13 photos, as we can now see the little status in icon underneath, those 13 photos have now started to sync up to the cloud. Now, if you don't have a terabyte of cloud space, let's say you're on a photography plan and uh, you just have Lightroom and Photoshop and 20 gigabytes of space, which is not very much at all, uh, will this work? Will you even be able to do this? And the answer is yes, because Lightroom Classic from day one of syncing to the cloud has always had the ability to sync uh, smart previews. So it's not syncing the full resolution of your JPEGs and your RAW files. It's syncing a smaller file that we ha that you have unlimited space for. So in other words, uh, when you're syncing from Lightroom Classic, it does not take away from your 20 gigabytes of space or even your one terabyte of space. It only takes away from your space when you sync originals via other methods we haven't talked about yet. So you can sync thousands and thousands and thousands of photos from Lightroom Classic that will be, again, taking up no space whatsoever as far as your allotment is concerned. Of course, they do take up space in the cloud, but we're giving you that as part of your membership. Okay, so in this, and you don't have to do the conversion to Smart Previews first. It will do it on the fly as they sync. So uh, those 13 images have synced already because there's no more status indicator underneath the arrows. That's letting me know that it's already done. Um, if I wanted to create a collection, Let's say that I go in, uh, let me find some photos that I have not synced yet, like this one, removing objects. And this one has a few, a few photos in it that are not necessarily synced. And let's say that I want to take the one that's already selected, I want to take this one, and I want to take this one, and I want to sync those to a brand new collection. Because remember, the same photos can be in multiple collections without taking up any additional space. So with that said, all I would do is go up to my collection category and I would click the plus sign to create a new collection. Create collection, call it whatever you want. So I can call it uh, demo sync because that's what it is. And then I can even tell it to put it inside of a collection set, which I already have called demo. Notice that there is a checkbox to include the selected photos, which means, yes, I want to take the three that I already picked out, put them in that collection, and more importantly, the checkbox to sync with Lightroom. So if you don't check that box, it'll just make the collection, won't sync a thing. You check that box, it'll make the collection, put the three photos in it, and sync the three photos behind the scenes. So if I go ahead and, uh, and click Create, there's my new demo sync collection, and it's already got the little um, arrow checkbox because it's all, I told it to do that when I created the collection. And the little status icon underneath 
is letting me know that it's actually doing the syncing of those three photos. And again, it's not syncing the, the DNGs or the raw files or the PSDs or the JPEGs. It's syncing smart previews. Now, how big is a smart preview? Smart preview is 2,048 pixels on the longest edge. So big enough to look at on devices, big enough to share in a portfolio, big enough to even make small prints from because you don't need a lot of resolution to print something small. But um, that's about it. If you wanted the full resolution to, to um, edit or print, then we're going to talk about a different way to do that. All right, so those three photos of sync. Now, how do I know that this is actually working? I see the checkbox. I don't see the status indicator anymore. How do I know that it's actually doing what I just told you it was doing? Well, there's a way to find out even on your desktop without going to your other devices yet. If you go to the web, there is a, you have access to your photos in lightroom.adobe.com. So this is actually a web page. It looks just like Lightroom cloud version of the new Lightroom. And I don't see those new collections because this page was already open. I didn't refresh it yet. So let's refresh the page. I hit command R, refresh the page. And as I refresh the page, boom, they're the new, and they're behind my head, but oh, going the wrong way. There are the new collections. So there's the one called Demo Sync with the three images in it. There's the one called Splashes of Color with the 13 images in it. And so I have access to these images anywhere I can grab a web browser. So basically any device with a web browser, I can go log into my Lightroom and see my photos. And not only see my photos, but I could go in and start working with them. So I can click here. I can even click the Edit This Photo button. And that will open up the editing tools just as if I were in my desktop application and I would be able to crop or adjust or work on the photos here in the web browser. So basically, this is putting the Lightroom interface on the web. All right, the next thing. Um, so the uh, question Rudy's asking is, when I go home and leave and use a non-Lightroom computer, is it possible to download a whole album instead of each photo by one? I don't know of a way to download the whole album as one click. I don't know of a way to do that. Um, you can, of course, share the album uh, and then you can allow downloads. But I don't think there is a, hey, download the whole album. So that's a great feature request. I'll pass that on to the Lightroom team. All right. Now, we talked about this being available on your devices. So, so far, I've only showed this on the computer. I happen to have my phone right here. And if I were to uh, switch over to, actually, let me do it. Let me hang on before we do that. Let's go back. Let's get out of it. Okay. So if I were to switch over to my phone, there's my phone. And you see the Lightroom app down at the bottom of the screen, the LR. Lightroom is available as a free download from your iOS and Android stores. So just go download it. If you sign in with the same account and you're a Creative Cloud member, then you can sync. If you don't have a Creative Cloud, I mean, if you don't, if you're not a Creative Cloud member, you can of course get a free Adobe ID. You can still use the editing features of Lightroom. You just can't sync your photos to the cloud. All right, so I'm going to go tap on Lightroom. Here I am in the mobile phone scrolling so that you can see us live, and there's my demo sync folder. Now, this is the benefit of doing this. No matter where I am, my phone, my iPad, web browser on someone else's computer, my desktop computer, my laptop computer, no matter where I am with Lightroom, I've got the ability to tap on any one of these photos, for example, and now do any kind of editing that I wanted to do. So for example, if I wanted to turn that into a black and white really quickly, I can do that. And because it's syncing just metadata in the cloud, that will sync those changes. I can see the little cloud icon in the upper right-hand corner. That will sync just the metadata because it, it, that's all Lightroom ever was when it comes to editing is metadata. So it's not really syncing, downloading the, the JPEG or the Smart Preview, you editing it and having to upload the whole file back. It's just uploading those changes, which are very small because they're really just text and is from a technical perspective. And I can already see it's done it on the desktop. I didn't touch the desktop, but because the desktop application was open, it's already synced and it's already there. If I were to go back to the web browser, oh, 
Go back to the web browser. There we go. Get out of this edit that I was in before. Get out of this uh, photo that I was in before and go back to that same uh, album. And let's refresh this. There it is in black and white there as well. So just by making that change in one place, the change is global. The photo is the photo. When you make a change, you're making the change everywhere that can see that photo. Desktop, web browser, mobile devices, and even Apple TV, because there's a Lightroom app for your Apple TV as well. So if you want to display your images for friends and family or colleagues on your TV, just download the Apple TV app which is also free, sign in with your account, and the same uh, collections will be there. Okay, so now we've seen that it does work. I've synced those over. What if I want to now do something beyond just syncing from Lightroom Classic? I have my phone in my hand, which is what I use to take pictures all the time. So can I take a picture? and have it sync over to Lightroom and then be available on all my devices? The answer is yes. Let me switch back over to Classic just for a second. Then let me let me switch over to the phone so you can see me do it. And of course, we're looking at the same, uh, same album, same collection in both places. Now, Lightroom has a camera. Your mobile device has its own camera app. Let's talk about doing it both ways. If I were to go in and take a picture with the camera that's built into the phone, then I have the ability down at the bottom right hand side to hit the plus sign and add from the camera roll. So I can say, oh, I took that picture using the iPhone portrait mode, for example. I wanna bring that picture into Lightroom. I can go ahead and add it via the camera roll right there. Let's say I don't wanna to have to manually remember to do that every time. Well, if you go up to the menu, go back home first, then go to the menu, there we go. There's an import option where you can turn on auto add from camera roll all your photos. From this point forward, it's not retroactive. So from this point forward, any photos I take with the built-in camera, add them into Lightroom. And any videos I take with the Lightroom camera, add them into, or I'm sorry, with the iPhone camera, add them into Lightroom or the Android camera for that matter. So you can do it one by one piecemeal as I've been doing. As you can see, I've got those turned off. Or if you just say, nope, I'm good. Every picture I take on my, on my device, I want it to automatically sync up and, and be in Lightroom. Now, remember I said that your space is not impacted by all the images you sync from Lightroom Classic because they sync a smart previews. That is different if you sync with your phone, meaning you, you, you create the image on the phone. Because if you create the image on the phone, whether it's with the built-in camera or with the Lightroom camera, now you're syncing the full resolution, JPEG or RAW, whatever your device takes, up to the cloud and then back down to your device, your, your desktop. That does take up space. So if you shoot a ton with your phone or import a ton with your phone, that will impact your 20 gigabytes or one terabyte, depending on what you bought, space. Smart previews, no impact. Capturing with your mobile devices, impact. JPEGs, don't take up a lot of space. Raw files do. All right, so let's say I get out of this. And let's say I bring up the Lightroom camera. Now the Lightroom camera, looks like a camera. I'm going to show my streaming setup there. Let's say I take a picture of the streaming setup. All right, there, I took the picture and I want to close it. And it's already in all in my all photos category. There it is in the upper left-hand corner. And I can also see the cloud icon in the upper right-hand corner, letting me know that it's syncing. It's syncing that photo. So it's syncing in this case, a raw file, because I've got my camera in Lightroom set up to shoot in raw. So shooting at a 12 megapixel DNG from my iPhone 10 or 10S um, that's being synced up to the cloud. So that's why it's taken a few more seconds than it did before. Now, why didn't it pop into this collection? Because it's not in that collection. It's just in my all photos. If I go look at all photos, it will be there. 
But if I want to add it to that collection, that album, I go to, what are we looking at? We're looking at Demo Sync. I go to Demo Sync, I hit Add, and I don't say from the camera roll because it's not on the camera roll. We shot this with Lightroom. I say it from all photos, there it is. I add it in, it adds in that one photo to that album with all the rest, and or that collection with all the rest, and as soon as it finishes syncing, boom, there it is on the desktop, even before I could finish saying it. Now, what do we see on the desktop? We see the actual raw file. That's a DNG, 3,024 pixels by 4,032, which is what my phone captures. Not a smart preview, not 2,048 pixels. It's the full res. It's basically what my camera is capable of doing on this phone. If I were to look at it, I can see it. I can zoom in. I can work on it. I can do everything as if I had uh, imported that photo from my DSLR or shot it with my uh, or shot it with my DSLR or, or brought it right into Lightroom Classic. So it brought over the actual file. So if I were now to go look at the web and refresh that uh, web browser view, there's the photo. If I were to edit the photo in the web browser, on the phone, or on my desktop, it's edited everywhere. If I were to just crop it, if I were to make um, make any change to it whatsoever, adjust the color, rotate it, whatever, those changes are synced and across the board. So it doesn't matter where I make a change, those changes are, are ripple through the entire Lightroom system. So if I were to go in now and I were to go, uh, oh, you can't see me. Let me go to back to the phone. There we go. If I were to go back to the phone and I were to say, you know, rotate this or let's crop it. That's not, not rotate. Let's crop it up a little bit. Crop the clock out of it a bit. Okay, great. Now that we did the crop, let's go ahead and run an auto adjustment on it. Good. Now let's go to light and let's run exposure. You get all your professional controls that you are used to in Lightroom. You even have your effects, your new texture slider, your dehaze, all the things that, I don't need to dehaze this, but all the things that you would normally do. You even have a nice vignette. Uh, so we can go the vignette the other way and kind of make it look like, ooh, we're peeking through softness into the photo. All right, there we go. And again, once I get out of it, it syncs those changes up to the cloud very quickly because they're just metadata changes. And as soon as it syncs them down, we'll see that picture update. Um, it also even, uh, because I shot it with the phone, that little flag icon at the very bottom right hand corner is the location information. Because I shot this and I have my location set to not be private, um, it added the location information to this photo as well. So uh, again, no matter where you make your changes, your changes are rippled through the system. So we'll give it a second uh, to come back down to classic. In the meantime, while we're waiting on that, we can go look at it in the, in the web browser and see if it made the change there. Refresh. Yep, it made the change there. I can see the crop, I can see the vignette. And if we come back to Lightroom on the desktop, still waiting but it will ultimately do it. Usually you're not holding them side by side, waiting for one to the other. You go out, you do things, you come back home, it's done. All right, uh, just dropped in. What app is Terry using? I'm using Lightroom Mobile, Lightroom on the desktop, Lightroom Classic. This is all about Lightroom and syncing your photos. And by the way, there's the change. Okay, so that's it. You can now put your images, whether you're using Lightroom Classic, Lightroom Mobile, or even the new Lightroom cloud-based version, no matter, and by the way, I'm just launching this. I had not launched it before this demo. So it's launching and it will eventually pop up with all my albums and whatever changes I've made. I can see 40 something thousand photos have been synced and waiting for those albums. To, there we go. So it's doing it now and those everything will start to come in. Here come all the albums. There's a picture of yours truly that I use for another demo. And as soon as it finishes syncing, we'll see those collections pop in because this is the desktop version of the new Lightroom. Um, and it'll just take a few seconds to do that. So we won't wait for it, but there you go. It doesn't matter where you create, where you do this, it will work across the board. All right, so with that said, go sync, go do your thing. Uh, the advantage, of course, with Lightroom Classic, 
unlimited number of smart previews. The advantage with the other Lightroom is that you're backing up your original files. You're backing up your raw files. You're backing up your uh, JPEGs. But you need the space in the cloud to do that, which you need to pay for a plan that gives you the space that you would need. All right. So uh, how about Lightroom? How about Photoshop Mobile? You never talk about it. I never talk about it because it's not out yet. <laughs> so when it's out, you'll hear me talk about it, Paul. All right. So with that said, uh, let's go in and yep, boom, on the desktop, even before I could wrap this up, here comes everything. So the four images. Uh, the black and white, the conversions, the new image, all now on the desktop version as well. All right. So with that said, cheers, everyone. Thanks for watching. And we will catch you on the next one. As I said on yesterday's stream, next week, Adobe is shut down for the summer for a week. That means we're all on vacation. So I will not be streaming next week. So with that, I'll see you the week after. So cheers, everybody. I probably won't stream tomorrow, but cheers, everybody. Have a good one, and we will catch you on the next one. Bye, everybody.